Brewmaster. For him, and there isn't really that opportunity to be able to get the kill solely because you have boots for a Switch Doctor. Shadowfin's dead. Or not? Let's see. Up oh, there goes the cask. Now the right clicks. As long as they get some good headshots in, guaranteed, pretty much. General just throws out whatever damage he can onto Pycat, and it was actually kind of close, but otherwise, just stagnant point. They're gonna lose out the laning phase heavily. But how do you change it up? I am not sure. Maybe you put Coddle up the clockwork you were talking about earlier. Really? Shadowfin, because take a look at yeah, him now. Charged hard. up and dead. In fact, the charge not even needed to connect. Now Troll has life still. does he just kill opponent in the jungle? I mean, there's no one contesting him on his top lane because hook shot from Cheshire Cat towards mid completely misses. They even had vision there. Mike Kelly gets too quick on his feet as he turns back around onto the SF. Yeah, now he's trying to go for that kill. Will be able to get it. Cheshire Cat is here. And will be able to lock Pycat inside the cons, but he doesn't have enough mana. It looks like the right clicks are going to be enough thanks to Sineko in part. I think he may be right. Block out. Nice Fisher block there from J4. He's still going to use his ultimate here with the troll. Ah, the miss percentage chance. That's going to be what's causing him problems here now. He's forced to try and retreat here. Oh, they still get the Earthshaker. What was that? Level 2? Yeah, level 2 assassinate. That's the damage that came in. Because they don't have that much to set up for a Requiem. Well, Loda ends up stunning himself with the pushback there from the Keeper of the Light. Almost enough damage. Cogs bounces him out a little bit. Oh, no. The Cask and Cheshire Cat now struggling. Yeah, Nico's gonna come in from behind, be able to jump on to Cheshire Cat. He'll get that one kill. Pycat just pecking away with his massive mana, trying to go for Dylan. Uh, Did you Ryan with the ultimate of Nikwa? They'll be able to get it too. Nikwa's even tanky enough to live through that SF ulti in the one raise. Beat Chen here. Ake, the smoke pops. Cheshire Cat sees him. This is the hook shot. And now the Cogs pushes them away. Disaster for Power Rangers. They're still going to try and go for this, but it's a bad position here. Cheshire Cat does manage to finish off the Chen. He falls into Rock. Oh, just barely gets off that ultimate. Nikwa will end up falling. Loda, meanwhile, is chasing down. Cheshire Cat can't quite get him. As now it's going to be the Sniper who's throwing up. No, Witch Doctor actually throwing up in the air. They should be able to get that kill. Buyback there from Nikwa. Are they still going to try and force this one? They knew the Brewmaster's low, but they can't afford to lose too many heroes. The charge coming out, Sniper. Whoa, way too close there for comfort. Starts targeting Dichira. The charge onto General is gonna be able to stall him up. He won't be able to get the damage onto Pycat. Explodes there, but Pycat manages to get himself away. Seneko. Yeah, you know, Alliance have, like they had uh, this period of time five minutes ago, and you could probably see it in net worth. Actually, it was more like 10 minutes ago. That, uh... Oh, Earthshaker. Trade-off is gonna be here, as long as the hook shot isn't missed. Just your cat, <laughs> you he'll get my cat. You can't miss You literally that one. can't miss it. Actually, you oh god. Before oh, staff forward, trying to get up. My cat still fast enough in order to get himself ahead. They do have a rocket coming up in just five seconds, but it looks like he's away. PR's pockets with gold, which they really do not want to give away. Can J4 get this? I mean, for me, it's all about J4's initiation. Unfortunately, this is bad. Loda, he's right on top of everybody now. BKB activated by General Nikwa, jumping forward onto Sineko, already one core down and a support. And now it's just Power Rangers, every man for himself right now. Who can get out? Cheshire Cat, is he really wanting to go for this one? He's actually trying to fight with the Brewmaster, trying to go on Mad. Will he be able to take him? Just no, not even him. Mad is able to get himself away. The Brewmaster is now out. And J4, well, looks like he's going to fall as well. Ditchia Ra is going to be trying to get away, but it seems like assassinating to get a bash here. Or a cast. He does. I guess, like, Lifesteal life Crit may have been a better option, but... Oh, you kind of need the attack speed from uh, play. Charge. General needs some help here. The Fisher isn't going to go in. Oh, what a cog. But Cheshire Cat is just fighting up. It's going to be able to get Ake. My Cat, meanwhile, using the cogs to his advantage. Now going to start peddling. Did Jira. He will still get off his ultimate to Echo Slam on the mat in order to stop him in place, in order to beat him up. But the SF couldn't quite get the damage. And now, just staying ahead to blink in. Let's lose the ultimate. We'll finish off that one support. But Loda right on top of the general says, Thank you for the delivery. I will have some free food. Takes down the SF. And now, even the Brewmaster barely gets through his ultimate. Ultimate, but he's still just uh, a free kill for Pycat, who ends the fight with a godlike spree. Double? Oh! oh that was triple. so close to beyond godlike triple kill.
But after that last team fight, another bad team fight like that, and Power Rangers could actually not only even it up completely, but also be ahead. The problem is jump in. Oh, good interception there. Shish your cat. Trying to grab him. Tinchy Law is actually going to make the jump in. He does have his ultimate. Will be able to let it go. But look at that Pie Cat, as well as Mad, with their two right clicks, will be able to take out two heroes. It looks like Blockwork barely survived, but it's Loda, who's going to be traced down here by both the general as well as Tinchy Law. They should be able to get him, too. The Chen heal goes off, but it's not good enough. The rest of the team, though, hot on pursuit. Niqua diving on the general. Will be able to get off the BKB and try to lose that ultimate. God, Echo Slam. Niqua, we will fall. Ditch your rock joins in in the party. Pycat coming in from the left side. Oh, God, the cat. The cat wins the fight for Pycat easily. And he just peppers shot after shot into the SF and then into the Brewmaster. Time for Alliance to finally lay claim to that Roshan. Another push in here from Alliance. They've got themselves the Aegis on Mad Cheese on Loda. Smoke from uh, Bob, though. They're going to jump High Cat right away. Try and blow him up. They know. Oh, he gets off the BKB, though. The four staff gets him to safety here. Now he just starts back tracking his way to his teammate and will be able to kill that SF. Shit, your cat trying to go on to High Cat as best as possible, but without him actively damaging that blade now, there's no way that Shit, your cat actually wins this man fight up against the three heroes. They do have the Brewmaster as well as the SF coming in with their second line. Trying to do what work they can. He was actually going to drop here, but it's the general who's really in big threat as Pycat is able to take him out. That ultimate did your raw also gonna fall here as nobody able to really address Pycat in the back. Just your cat coming in from behind the Fisher as well, but the GG is already out. And Power Rangers will lose this series. 2-1 to Alliance. Yeah, they're looking pretty damn strong. Like drafting wise, overall game plan wise, with Matt in that driving seat. Alliance looking pretty dominant against PR and congrats pretty much to everyone who bet on Alliance. I think the odds were like 30 to 70 stacked against them for PR over on Dota 2 Lounge. Wow.